Hey everyone, it's David Sirota. So Bernie Sanders' Medicare for All plan got a lot of attention uh, this week. A number of Senate Democrats uh, flocked to support it. Uh, many of them didn't, but there's a big coalition uh, in the Senate among Democrats supporting it. Uh, half of the Democrats in the U.S. House now are sponsoring a similar Medicare for All bill uh, over in the House. But it's important to remember that part of the fight for the Medicare for All bill will be against uh, the other side of the Democratic Party, which has proved to be uh, quite a, an opposition uh, to single-payer over many years. And it's important to go through some of the history to understand how that opposition uh, has evolved. Uh, there's a timeline that you can trace showing the shifting uh, feelings of top Democrats on the issue of Medicare for all. And, it's, and, and I think it provides some important context for what is going to, to probably happen uh, as the Medicare for all bill moves forward and creates a national debate over national health care. Uh, let's start back in 1992. Uh, back then, Governor Jerry Brown uh, of California campaigning for president, uh, he touted a single-payer health care system. Uh, he was in a debate with Bill Clinton, said that uh, it was something that, uh, that, was, that was great, and he was specifically pointed to Canada. Uh, then in 1993, uh, after uh, Bill Clinton was elected president, uh, Hillary Clinton herself, uh, although she, the health care plan that she put forward was decidedly not single-payer, it was more of a private insurance-based system, uh, she did make some supportive comments about it. She said there was a, quote, convincing case for single-payer, uh, and then the next year she said, quote, I believe that by the year 2000 we will have a single payer system. I don't think, I don't even think it's a close call politically. That's what she said. Fast forward to 2003. Here is uh, then uh, state legislator Barack Obama. Here's what he had to say uh, about single payer. How do we get the federal government to take care of its business? I happen to be a proponent of a single payer universal health care plan. America, the wealthiest country in the history of the world, spending 14%, 14% of its gross national product on health care cannot provide basic health insurance to everybody. And that's what Jim's talking about when he says everybody in, nobody out. A single payer health care plan, universal health care plan. And that's what I'd like to see. But as all of you know, we may not get there immediately. Because first, we've got to take back the White House, and we've got to take back the Senate, and we've got to take back the House. So Obama very clearly, unequivocally for single payer. Keep that in your mind as we move through uh, this timeline. 2006 comes, Democrats control the California legislature. They pass a single payer health care bill but it's vetoed by Republican Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now again, keep the California Democrats in your mind because that, that uh, story is gonna come full circle. Uh, in 2008, let's go back to Obama. Remember 2003, he's unequivocally for single payer. Here's what he said at a presidential primary debate in 2008. I never said that we should try to go ahead and get single payer. What I said was, that if I were starting from scratch, if, if we didn't have a system in which employers had typically provided health care, I would probably go with a single-payer system. So you have Obama now asserting that he was never for single-payer, despite what you heard him say in 2003. Then in 2009, Obama is president, and his Health and Human Services Secretary, Kathleen Sebelius, goes on NPR and says that the Affordable Care Act will be sculpted deliberately to prevent a single-payer health care system. Listen to what she said uh, to NPR uh, host Steve Inskeep. Can you say flat out, it's just never going to be single-payer health insurance, and we're going to try to write it if we can so that it won't ever be? Oh, I think, I think that's very much the case. And, and again, if you want anybody to um, convince people of that, talk to the single-payer proponents who are furious that the single-payer idea is not part of the discussion. Then the Affordable Care Act passes. That's obviously not single-payer. 2011 rolls around. Vermont, the 
home state of Bernie Sanders, state lawmakers there pass a, uh, a bill that is designed to ultimately create a single payer system. But then in 2014, the state's Democratic governor who had signed that bill and supported it, he killed off the program. Then in 2016, Bernie Sanders touts Medicare for All on the campaign trail, and Hillary Clinton says Medicare for All single payer is ne will never, ever happen. Uh, then in 2017, let's go back to the California Democrats, California Democrats pass another single payer bill. This time they have a Democratic governor, and Jerry Brown ends up vetoing it. And now here we are, Bernie Sanders pushing a federal Medicare for All bill. So that history is important to understand that as the, as the battle over this bill moves forward, uh, you're likely to see a pretty uh, organized opposition inside the Democratic Party as you have seen that opposition and those shifts inside the Democratic Party uh, over many years. That timeline is important. Uh, the Republicans obviously are going to oppose single payer, but there is a big obstacle within the Democratic Party as there has been over the last 25 years.